So far, we've looked at setting up finance charge memos and reminders, how to create, update, and issue them. We can calculate interest on finance charge memos, and we can also calculate interest on reminders. We can combine reminding customers about overdue invoices and using different levels of reminders with calculating and charging interest all in one document. If we intend to combine interest charges with reminders, we'll need to make sure that the following areas of setup are completed. So if we go to our customer list, first of all, and we'll open up just a quick customer that we have here. Um, the first thing we'll need to do is make sure that our finance charge terms code, which is found under the payments tab and making sure that you select show more as well. We need to make sure a finance charge terms code is assigned to the customer card for the customers we wish to do this for. Without this, interest can't be charged on the reminder, regardless of whether the reminder terms and levels are set up for interest calculation. Only the interest related fields on the finance charge term will be used to calculate the interest amount on the reminder. So on the reminder term, we say whether we want to calculate interest and the finance charge terms code is used to actually specify the rates at which we're going to be charging that interest. On the customer card, we'll also need to assign the reminder terms code. If we go to our reminders very quickly, reminder terms. On each reminder level we wish to calculate interest on for our reminder term, if we just go to the levels here now, uh, we'll need to select calculate interest, this field here. Doing so, we'll calculate interest on the reminder lines for reminders created for this code and level. The interest calculated is based on the finance charge terms code that is selected on the customer card. So if I just quickly drill into this, we can see that we've specified an interest rate here and a few other details, but mainly that the interest rate is specified there. Next, if we go to the, sorry, back to the reminder terms. On the reminder term, we can also select the post interest field so that any interest listed on the reminder will be posted to the GL and customer accounts when we issue the reminder. An important note, the setup on a reminder term and its levels has a few fields that take priority over the finance charge terms. So the post interest field, post additional fee, if we go into the levels, are grace period, the due date calculation, and the additional fee amount. These fields take priority over the similar fields in the finance charge terms. The process of creating and issuing reminders that make use of interest calculation is identical to creating and issuing reminders that do not use interest. So with this setup done, we can look at creating reminders using the batch job like normal. So we'll just head to the reminders page first of all. In the batch shop, it's important to note that when we use the use header level checkbox on this batch job, it only has an effect when reminders are calculating interest because it's used to determine whether interest should be calculated on the reminder lines. 